Okay, this time I'm going to walk you through a solution that's already been done. So this is problem number two from your homework. And as you can see that um, the A is negative, so we know that the parabola is going to be pointing down. And the first thing we want to do is we want to find the, the two x-intercepts. So our x-intercept work is to find the x-intercept, don't we know that y has to be 0? So we plugged in y for 0, and then we can use what's called the zero property, which says 0 times anything equals 0. So that means we can set x minus 2 equal to 0 and x minus 6, 6 equal to 0. And that's known as the zero property. So by using our algebra skills, that gives us x equal 2, and that gives us x equals 6. So 2 and 6 are x-intercepts. So we can put 2, 0, and 6, 0 up here are x-intercepts, and then we plot them. So we plot 2, 0, and we plot 6, 0. And then remember, after we plot the x-intercepts, we know that the axis of symmetry has to be in the middle of those two points. Therefore, the axis of symmetry has to be going down through x equals 4. Now, on my paper, you can't really see the lines of the graph paper, but that would be the middle. So now that we know that, sorry, that's not supposed to be there. Now that we know that, we know that the axis of symmetry is x equals 4. We also know the vertex must always be on the axis of symmetry. So therefore, the vertex, therefore, has to be 4 something because it has to be on the axis of symmetry. We take our equation, plug 4 in, work that out, and in this particular problem we get 4 again. So then we can plot our vertex, which we now know is 4, 4. So we went over to 4, 4 and we plotted our vertex. Then we want to get at least a few more points. So I decided, um, first of all, I went ahead and did the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is when x is 0. So we put in 0 for x, work that out, we got negative 12. So 0, negative 12 is our y-intercept. So we put 0, negative 12 into our table plotted the y-intercept, and then remember a parabola has symmetry, so that distance from the axis has to be the same distance on the other side, so that's how I knew where that other point was. Then I wanted to get one more point, so I decided that 3 looked like it would be an interesting point to find, so I chose to plug in 3 as my other point. So here's my other point, I plugged in 3, and when I plugged in 3 and worked it out, I ended up getting 3 out. So now I could plot that point 3, 3. There's the point 3, 3. And then it has symmetry. So since it's one unit from the axis of symmetry, then I was able to plot one unit of axis of symmetry on the side. And then I have a wonderful parabola. And I added a comment that the maximum, that it has a maximum, and the maximum is 4. Remember, that represents what's the height of the parabola before it starts to drop again. So the tallest it goes, it goes up to positive 4, and that's why it's the maximum. I hope this helps.